Hey guys, welcome back. Um, two weeks later, because last week was Thanksgiving. Hope everyone had a very festive and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> so we're gonna be recapping two episodes this week. We're gonna try to skim through last week's just because it's not really important anymore. But anyway, Sarah, take it away. All right, so this was week seven last week. <laughs> Let's see how quick she can go it. Ready? Three, two, one. First group date was a songwriting contest uh, where the winner gets one-on-one -on -one time with Tasia. Ivan wins and then they play The Floor is Lava in her suite and cute. it's cute. They also yeah. have dinner. They talked about what it's like to be biracial in America and mm -hmm. they really connect over that. Yeah, which I feel like it. was an important conversation that they had on this on last week's episode because typically they don't really show like deep heavy conversations but like now I feel like it's really yeah, meaningful to have some sort of conversation about that. So. With like no stupid interruption from like Chris Harrison or something. Yeah, exactly. Like they just let it completely unfold. Yeah. It was really nice. Yeah. Second group date is Truth or Dare. <laughs> Noah says that he's upset because he's not on it and everybody hates him. This is when Bennett starts to really dislike him. During the day part, she has them perform gross or humiliating tasks, but it's funny to watch. So that's that. It was just, <laughs> it was really weird. Like they had to like chug certain drinks and like so basically, how can they handle being humiliated? During the night portion, she tries to get a little deeper with the guys, and she does with some of them. And Zach gets the group date after they, the group date rose, after they make out in a hot tub. Where did the hot tub come from? I don't know. <laughs> how come he got to go in it and no one else? Yeah, literally. I don't know. Questions. She goes home from the group date, and then Ben is like, I gotta go talk to her. It's literally two in the morning. Why they, is she still awake? They must have been like, hey, someone's coming. So then he goes there, they talk, He's like, I'm sorry, and she's like, okay, just like try harder, and he's like, okay, and then champagne arrives, and they spend like a long time together, and I'm like, mm -hmm. girl, go to bed. Ed goes to the wrong room. You think that was like planned, right? That was set up, yeah. So he just has wine with Chris Harrison, and it's like, you should knock more when you come into our That seat. was low-key funny. That was funny. <laughs> that was like really, really funny. Hi there. <laughs> we have a special guest. Oh, oh, hi! Oh, oh, it's a party! Hi! <laughs> hi! Oh, yeah, okay, so Ed had like a redeeming moment because he was funny for like two seconds with Chris Harrison. <laughs> and then we have the rose ceremony. Mm -hmm. Noah tells Tasha that the other guys are mean to him, and also they all think that she's like has poor judgment. Uncalled for and also not true. Yeah. So she rightfully gets really upset cancels the cocktail party. Which makes goes, them even more pissed at Noah. Yes! And moves right to the rose ceremony where she sends home... Oh, our boy Joe. Joe. I think Joe will see him again, though, in another, like... I think people, like, really, like, liked him, and it's not like he really got a lot of screen time, but I definitely think he'll be on, like, Paradise if that's able to be a thing. Jordan, Kenny, and Chasen. I'm, like, glad Chasen went home. I was kind of over him. So then there's 12 guys left. I remembered all of these names off the top of my head, which that's is like frightening. Pro that's like progress, <laughs> Yeah. I don't think I could do all 12. Ready? Go. Ivan, Brendan, Zach, Ben, Easy, Riley, Ed. It's kind of weird. It's fuzzy for me. Oh, Bennett, mm -hmm. Noah, Spencer. I don't know the other two. Who are the other two? I believe into mine. So we're really getting down there. And that's pretty much week seven. Yeah. So now we're on week eight. Which it's like, how are we already on week eight? That's literally crazy. Did we start watching Claire two months ago? Yeah. It was in October. Oh my god. Quarantine does some stuff to you. This is the scariest information I've heard all day. <laughs> so this week, guess where they're at? Lucky, Lucky day. <laughs> day. <laughs> I honestly don't even know where so, this right. started. Go ahead. So it starts off with... Jojo. Oh, from the, you never watched her season. I did watch her season. Oh, which like I forgot about, and then I saw her face, and they said Jojo, and I was like, When did you watch it? Like when it was on. Oh my god, I loved her. Like she was awesome. I loved her. Best Bachelorette ever. She fills in for Chris Harrison because he's dropping his son off at college. Kicks right off with the one-on-one -on -one with Zach. Yeah. Where they take wedding pictures. 
which is like a lot. Yeah, it's I thought like that was a like lot. a bit much. I don't know why they're like doing all these dates that are just like, let me absolutely destroy you mentally. I don't think she wanted to do it. No, because she had been married before. Last time she was in a wedding dress was at her wedding, which obviously mm -hmm. like that marriage didn't work out. We find out later. Maybe we already knew. I didn't know that Zach was married. No, we didn't already either. know that. We okay. knew Brendan had been married before, yeah. but we didn't know Zach had. He was probably really nervous too, but he's like really kind to her and is yeah. like we don't have to do this but they do it and then they have a lot of fun i know that i can laugh with you but like i want to know more about you and then he goes on this like deep dive story which was like honestly pretty sad he had a tumor in this general vicinity oh my God. <laughs> and he had to get removed and afterwards he got put on pain medication and then he ended up getting addicted to the pain meds and he went down like this deep hole of like drinking drugs all this kind of stuff like no one in his family really recognized him that's when he got married was when he was like not doing well and then like one day he said he just like he realized he needed to get his act together he went to this rehab place which he's now on like the board of directors so it's kind of like a really cool full circle moment so he like basically unloads this all on Tasia and she's like whoa yeah. And his wife had left him because he, like, got arrested or something. Yeah. I saw a lot of posts about this conversation, too, similar to the one that she had with Ivan. People were like, wow, this show is, like, actually showing, like, Addiction. important conversations yeah. that like, people are, like, afraid to say out loud, but he did. And instead of her being like, oh... Ooh, I don't want to like that's too much for yeah. me like she's just like okay thank you for sharing yeah I appreciate it like all this kind of stuff yeah so and then they end the date on a ferris wheel which I thought was like really cute mm -hmm. Very and they romantic. just like he like looks at her a certain way yes and she was like why are you smiling at me like that you can tell like he's, he's definitely, like, falling in love yeah. with her mm -hmm. how could you not you're on a ferris wheel in the middle of La Quinta <laughs> The most romantic place on earth. Then we go to the group date. Mm -hmm. Which you finally got your wish. I literally watched that and I was like, I am so happy they did this. So the group date, <laughs> they end up doing like an artsy one, which I was like, honestly, I feel like you learned so much more about them. Yes. I'm like props, like literally I should have written, did I like- You I spoke it into existence even though it happened like three months ago. I know, seriously, I've manifested it. First they have to like draw, there's like two nude models like posing together, so they had to like draw that out. And then the next one they had to do is like close their, they had a blindfold on and they had to like shape clay into like something. And then the last one they had to do like a self portrait. Mm of like what they i don't know how they wanted to project themselves i'm not really sure and, and like, she wanted them to be like deep emotional and deep and which like a lot of them were like, i'm surprised they said it on tv i literally and they were like i haven't told a lot of people this but you know what i really vibed with so riley goes and tells his story about like his family and how he like loves his his daughter right is that what i was no he, he just wants a daughter? But so does he have a daughter? No, he wants oh. one. And that's okay. like all he thinks about. Okay. So then that was lost in translation to me. I'm like, did I miss the point where he said he had a daughter? <laughs> no. Okay. But I thought I was touching that after Brendan was like, that was really good, Riley. Like, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And I'm like, what a stand-up guy. He's so sweet. To just be like, recognize like, hey, because at this point, like a lot of them are friends. Oh, yeah. Like, they're not just, like, there anymore. Like, they hang out so much. Like, they're good friends. So he's, like, supporting his friend, you know? Noteworthy thing was Ben, like, didn't know what he wanted to do. And then he ends up, like, literally getting nude and just being, like, this is my self-portrait. I'm exposing, like, every part of me mm -hmm. inside and out. When he flipped his painting around at first, it was so bad. Yeah. <laughs> So, I think that's why he's like, nope. So thank God he didn't show it. Yeah. And then she's like, I was supposed to pick one of you, but I want to hang out with all of you. Which I feel like is like her vibe. I'm she's so inclusive. And then the only other thing too is Bennett like awkwardly is like fighting with Noah to be the one to sit next to her. Mm -hmm. And then like he's like constantly yelling things across the room and Noah's like, like, dude, what? Basically like degrading Noah, but like 
Bennett thinks it's like in a funny way and Noah's kind of like all right like the first time maybe now like the second or third I'm kind of over it. I didn't like Noah last week and now now I'm like vibing. I'm feeling for him yeah. Yeah now I'm like getting where he's coming from. Then they go to the nighttime portion of the date. She like gets deeper with a lot of them um but the biggest one is Ben again. Oh right. He keeps yeah. coming back up and it kind of makes sense why he stripped naked in front of her for a self-portrait because he tells her that for 10 years he had an eating disorder mm -hmm. that no one even knew about except for his sister and then I guess Tasha. Ben ends up getting the group date rose. I vibe with Ben. I really do like him. I don't feel like he's putting on a show at all. He doesn't really have any like enemies yeah, in the house, which no I drama. think is like a huge thing. It's like if you don't have any drama surrounding you, like you're probably not a drama person. Yeah, like, and I feel like all the people that we like are Don't. never involved in the drama. No, exactly. They're just, like, <laughs> lounging, you know? And then it transitions into the second one-on-one, -on -one, who's with Iggy. Easy. <laughs> I said that. So you said it so commonly. <laughs> Why was I thinking Iggy? Was there a guy on another season called Iggy? Or Maybe. I think there was. And they, like, okay. do a haunted house. Okay, that was kind of, like, cute, but weird. I was cackling about, like, this backstory they wrote up about the, what happens on La Quinta in <laughs> Resort's land. Let's go to the tennis courts. This is where his spirit is said to be, like, roaming the most. And I, <laughs> it was just, like, weird. And they had, like, babies popping out of places. <laughs> and it's like, if it is scary, you can, like, hold hands and, like... Yeah, they weren't cute. doing that, though. <laughs> he wasn't afraid to, like, scream. Like a legit yeah, I child. Like, <laughs> it definitely like, showed they were both like able to be themselves with yeah. one another. So then at the end of this like first part of the date, then they like transition into the nighttime date, which already was nighttime, so I'm not entirely sure. So what. it was like probably four a.m. Yeah, <laughs> yes. They were like, mm, yeah. They tell her like, I think I'm falling in love with you, like I'm really into you, and she's like, like you can just tell you know like i've watched enough of this show to know that like if the bachelor or bachelorette's not into it they just like typically if someone's like i'm falling in love with you and they also are too they'll go into like for the kiss or they'll just like hold their hand and they're just like smiling like crazy like tasia was very much like a it was a nervous smile to be like i'm about to break his heart well she went from like smile because he was like complimenting her yeah. she was like smiling along and then when he said i love you she was like ah, i'm gonna have to send you home like i don't feel the same way but she picked up the rose first and was, and like, was like i can't give this to you and i'm like why <laughs> that's the one one oh, complaint God. about tasia i have is like to say on a group day right she picks up the rose mm. and she's like sarah i really liked your energy tonight like so and so I really liked this and it's like why are you saying like four people's names and then mm -hmm. giving it to like one of them just say the one person's name. yeah like I think it's nice that I think that she's like I want them to know that I appreciate it but maybe don't be holding the rose while you do it because yeah. I feel like the first person she says is always like <gasps> and, and then, then she's, she's like, like and then this. yeah I think she's saying it to basically be like even if you're not getting the rose and I say your name, like, you're still gonna get a rose at the yeah, rose like ceremony. You're if you're the first name that she says, know that you're probably not getting the group date rose. Yeah, no, like, literally. It's always, <laughs> it's always, like, this last one or, like, the second to last one. Yeah. She's like, yeah, that is true. Yeah. Hot take. He goes home and then it jumps to Noah and Bennett. I didn't see this part. I watched it on YouTube. <laughs> So I guess I did see it, but you I didn't, didn't, see, I didn't it, but, see the full Okay, thing. so basically then it goes into the rose ceremony, right? And they're kind of like waiting around. Typically they get like direction to like go get ready, whatever. And Jojo comes in, which I'm like, this is a hard episode for Jojo to be like starting <laughs> off. Oh, we forgot to say at the end of the group date, Tasia basically says, No one done it. I know there's drama and I'll get to the bottom of it. And then she was like, good night. Fast forward to now, Jojo walks in and she was like, it's come to Tasia's attention that there's drama between Noah and Bennett, so that's why there will still be a cocktail hour tonight, but it'll get pushed back. Noah and Bennett, you're going on the date beforehand. It's basically a two-on-one. One of you is getting sent home. Just Noah and Bennett sitting on the couches, and Bennett puts together this present for Noah. And the last thing he gives him is like, this emotional intelligence book, which I'm like, 
and he was like, you do not have emotional intelligence. Like, you need to have so this many out of this, and like, you don't have it. Basically going in on his life. And then Tasia comes out, and she was like, I don't know what's happening. Them two are kind of like arguing back and forth. And then she sees the present on the table, and is like, What's that? And that's where like the episode ends. <laughs> the finger. Because I think like once she sees that, right now a lot of people are like, oh, Noah's going to go home. I think once Tasia like realizes that Bennett put together this like present with that book in it, she's going to be like, you're cocky. You got to go. The only reason Bennett will stay and not Noah is if the producers make her. Yeah. But I feel like she wouldn't be phased by that. I feel like she'd be like, no. Yeah, exactly. Bennett gives me every other episode we've said that like we love him. No, like, I was getting creepy vibes from him. Like I was week. getting like he was so into himself. This episode, he was like, "I can buy you a house in California and in the mountains and in by the water." And I'm like, and he said that in front of everybody. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, but like, has she ever once been like money matters? Yeah, in who she's picking? Okay, so the preview for next week it shows. Did you watch the preview I for did. next week? Okay, so like. Were you catching my drift on there's yeah. something else sketchy going on with Zach? Well, he does like a lie detector test. And oh, and he cheated. He said he cheated on a girlfriend. Well, it like showed the person ask, have you ever cheated on someone? And then it just like cut to Zach being like, yes. I feel like it's not actually like, that's not the answer he was actually, uh, that's not the question he was responding oh, okay. to. I feel like they edited it so that it looks that way. Because then Riley also has a huge secret. Yeah, which I'm like, does he have a daughter? <laughs> what if he's the one who cheated? Someone, like someone had to have cheated. Someone cheated. <laughs> we just don't know who. And Zach has, at least he has some secret because shows him crying. Riley is crying. Ben. Brendan is upset about something. <laughs> Every guy is upset about something. <laughs> we don't know what. I feel like they purposely, like, showed all of, like, the fan favorites in this preview being, like, look it, they're all probably gonna get sent home because they all have secrets. Because it was, like, Did they show Ivan? Zach. No. Because he's, like, unproblematic. Yeah, like, they have nothing on him. He's so good. Oh, <laughs> he's so good. good. So how many guys are left now? Twelve. Still twelve. Okay, my other question is, so it's December, right? Yeah. Matt James' season, I guess, is starting in January. Wait, so, like, I didn't know... That they picked a bachelor. <laughs> yeah, do you remember Tyler Cameron? Tyler C, yeah. he like dated Gigi Hadid for a little bit. Was this the other guy that everyone like thought was awesome? Oh yeah, we love Tyler C. But but Ty Matt was Matt the other is, one. Matt is Tyler's like best friend. Was never he on the he's season? never been on the show. He's just his friend. Yeah. It's literally just like this guy, like Tyler, like started hanging out with him a bunch. And they would do all this stuff together. They did like charity work together, like all this kind of stuff. And he just was posting on Tyler, like he was always appearing on Tyler's Instagram feed. But Matt was never on the Bachelor franchise. So he just got like the hookup. Yeah. Because he's friends with Tyler. Isn't that kind of cool? I like that. Yeah. Because then he's not like. We don't know anything, like we don't know anything about him other than the fact that he's friends with Tyler. And I like that he's not like. If he's been on past seasons, I feel like they usually like follow the rules and are like, here's what we usually do. Like he's going into this blind too. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Okay, so this is my confusion. So that's supposed to start first week of January. There's only like four weeks left. There's Were no we overlapping. Or I something? think it will. Okay, so then we'll go through our top four. Mine are still the same. Me too. I don't know if I can put them in order of like who I think I think I'm gonna say Ivan is my first. That's what I, I was personally and for her. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, then Brendan, then Zach. Should I write like numbers? That's what yeah, I should have just like yeah. rewrite. I wouldn't it. rewrite it. Okay. Just like write. Because so this wait, is probably gonna change like frequently. Ivan. Ivan, Brendan, Ben Zach. You gonna copy me? Well, Ivan is my one. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I feel like she's really vibing with Zach. I'm going to say him for two, just to be different. Brendan is my third. Ben is my fourth. I'm sure that's going to change by now. Oh, week. yeah, I bet it is. Not Ivan, though. 
Lyman is so unproblematic. We love that. I've been watching him since before he even had screen time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and on that note, thanks for watching. We'll actually tune in next week. It's not going to yeah, be Yeah, we'll actually be on time. <laughs>